fresh honey up dash 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 My name, huh? You ready? S T R O. I ain't come to play with you. Yeah. Life challenging, but I wouldn't trade I wouldn't with trade. you. Early, I'm up. Yeah. I can't spend the day with you. I'm out of my business. Uh. I ain't getting paid with you. Nope. I come to bright. Yeah. I ain't finna fade with you. Man, I gotta come clean like I'm made with you. I've been on my everybody drop when, when I, I drop. Yeah. Look at Shorty, uh. she support uh. bra. Lifting up. Never not on my grind. New York City time. Another brother better, you will never find. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, never tired. You will never know, you ain't never tried. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hit the hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard. On the job, you can see that. On my head is real good. We don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the uh, rings. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Now what, what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Yeah, beats. Leave it in the street. Chase on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great color coops. Oh no, no, I can't be number two. MVP the league most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I Wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up. What you wanna be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched me. We ain't go together. Like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position, just know your spot. Show don't stop, it's a long season. They planning on winning for the wrong reasons. Trying to get my number retired. Can't let these Start your week by installing your game plan. Playing. All right, I gotta turn this music off before I get popped again. It's probably already gonna pop it. Stupid. Sucks. It's such a good. It is a good uh, soundtrack. It's a really good soundtrack. But albeit, it is all for nothing. All right, testing some uh, <clears throat> some contracts. Start your week by installing your game plan. Soundtrack. I'll mute myself and then uh, come back on whenever I am needed. All right, so you're just gonna see me play around here. Um, here's the deal: the contracts here uh, have changed, and they match real NFL money. It's great. The issue is um, The issue is the money is so large that maybe maybe what we normally have, no five-year contracts, won't work. Um, so we definitely have to think through this. So uh, here's what I'm doing. I'm going to go to mid-season. And then we'll see what kind of contracts, we'll see what they look like. And then I'm going to go all the way to the end season. So here's one of the ideas we're playing with, if you're watching this or if you watch it later. We're playing with the idea... <clears throat> of um, start your week by installing your game plan not allowing these players are on the last I get it, year of I get their it. not allowing anyone to re-sign during the season 
because players don't negotiate in real life during the season. And so keeping it to where you can only re-sign players at the end of the season. Um, that's what we're playing with. That's the idea. Like, it would be real life. It would have to make, you got to make it count because if you miss it and you lowball a guy, he's going to walk, all that fun stuff. And guys are really going to have to manage their cap because the cap situation is going to be a, a pretty big deal that guys are going to have to be really mindful of. So that's what you're going to see me do. I'm just going to play around with the Saints because uh, I know they're in kind of cap hell. And then uh, I'll look at some other things. I think the main thing that we want to look at is <clears throat> what's this look like in three, four, Start five seasons? We get six in plan. normally, and so we're just interested in what does it look like over three or four or five seasons because, again, there's dynamic money involved, and so whatever you pay a player, it's going to affect what the players in free agency are asking. It's going to affect what players in the future are asking. They've added in that dynamic piece, which is really great, but can be dangerous for a CFM because... We have guys like Priest who just go out there and spend wildly crazy, right? And so if guys are spending wildly crazy, it it can get um, it can get uh, hairy. So we'll have to see. So we're we're gonna we're just gonna see what this looks like over the next uh, for the next couple seasons. See what the money looks like, um, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Use all of your points because a portion of the remain points will be lost when you advance the week. So this is the part where we said this is where every resign would have to have. Again, the point of this is is it is very much more realistic, and it's going to force guys um, to make their bids count. Like I can't lowball Michael Thomas in week three, and then slightly raise it all throughout the season until he resigns. I get one shot. I get to make this count, or I gotta go chase him in free agency. cap room is how much money the closer your contract this is the this is the develop this is the ability this player has a zone ability this is a power You can already see, though, like, the money is much more realistic. Like, 
Drew is asking for a one year, 11 million, 14 million signing bonus, 25 million total, right? That's about real. He's He's been between that 20 to 25 for the last couple of seasons. And so I love the fact that it's real, but it's dangerous because now guys really have to think through their cap and they could get themselves in cap hell, which I know is going to happen. Like it just, it's going to happen. Um, and we're just not going to bail people out. They're going to have to figure it out. Yeah, Rob, I'll do that on the next season. Um, we know it works because Massimo's already tested it. So, I mean, I don't mind testing it again, but we know it works.
Start your week by installing your game plan. Start the regular season by selecting your season goal. All right, so this is going to be year two after kind of doing that free agency that you Start guys seen me do. Start your week by installing um, your game plan. Year two, I'll go into free agency. So we can see what, like after one year, what are guys asking for in free agency? Uh, let's see, Kamara's up. All right, so this is going to be a fat contract. So you see, he's asking five years, 44 million. That's just not crazy money to me. Like, he would get that in the normal OMFL free agency more than that. We've seen guys get 100 million over four years. Um, Cam's asking three for 52. Lattimore's asking five for 72. I'd expect that, all right? Ramchek, so these are all my top guys. Like these are, these are all my top guys. Ramchek's asking three for 43. Uh, Sheldon, another top guy, asking two for 16. Another top guy, Williams, three for, God, I'm nervous about this all of a sudden. Three for 19. Demario Davis, another top guy, two for 30. I got him back. Warford, another top guy. Anzalone, another top guy. So these are like all my top, top guys. Um, so that's where we are. Uh, let me we'll go through this process. Um, on Kamara, I will offer him a less year, but more money. So I'll offer him, let's say, I'm going to go ahead, I'll go four years for like 55, and we'll see how that works. Scouting points are earned every week. Use all of your points because a portion of the remain points will be lost when you advance the week. All right, so this is season two in the re-sign, not negotiating in the season. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and offer him less years. So I'm going to go four. Um, that four is going to drop that 44 to 35. I'm going to go four. Let's see what I can get this up to. We'll go four and a half here. Fat contract. And we'll go seven and a half here. And we'll have to go eight. And go five. What's that going to get us to? All right, so that's a 51. So it's more than what he's asking, but less years. I had to bump it up. Let's see if he takes it. He resigned. So they will take less years, but you're going to have to bring it. Like you're going to have to step up to the plate um, and and pay them if you're going to keep them, and you're going to have to think through your cap. Like I just ate up a ton of my cap right there. What am I at? I'm at 81 because I've got all these top guys that need to be re-signed. But I'm not going to be able to keep all these guys. It's just going to be impossible. You're going to have to pick and choose who do you let walk and go into free agency. So um, let's see what Cam does. Uh, he's only asking for two years. I bet you Cam does not take less money. I'm just going to offer him less money just for the sake of this test. So it's a little bit less money. It's a, it's a, a little over, almost two million. All right, so you can see there, he didn't take it, right? Cam is not gonna take less money. Um, I can franchise him, which I probably will. So here's another big contract, right? I'm going to offer, because I just want to test this too, right? I didn't try to re-sign anybody during the season. I'm going to offer him exactly what he's asking. Because I do think some will walk, right? You may not be able to offer them exactly what they're asking. You may have to pump it up. So we're going to test this. 
he's going to be a free agent, right? So he's decided that even though I've offered him what he asked, it wasn't enough. So we're going to test this on a couple of different ones. We will be franchising him. All right. Ryan Ramchek, right? So I'm going to pump this up. We'll go seven and a half. We'll get this to 775, right? So I'm just going to give him a little bit more money than he's asking. A little over two mil there. He resigned. All right, Sheldon, we're going to give him what he's asking. Not interested in signing, right? Marcus Williams, can give him what he's asking. He signed. So you just never know who's going to take what you, you're offering them and who are you going to have to come back and actually you're going to have to offer them a little bit more because you want to keep them. Jared Cook, all right, we're going to offer him just a little bit more. And I'm talking just a hair more. 600K more. He decided to walk. It wasn't enough to make him sign. So I love this. There is some dynamic... Uh, functions added here where you're not quite sure who's going to sign who's going to re-sign right because we've offered them less they've taken it we've offered them more they didn't take it so you're really just going to have to you're you're going to lose some players and you're going to have to think through your cap like i'm going to let demarius walk right because i know that my cap is a little tight he's a declining player he's 32 i'm gonna let him walk on yamada i've been trying to sign him he's asking one for 34 he didn't sign last off season all right because i lowballed him so I'm just going to offer him what he wants. He's probably going to walk. Yeah, he's going to test out free agency, right? Anzalone, instead of offering him what he wants, I'm give him a little bit of a bump. We're going to 3-2 and 1-5. All right, so it's 14 mil. It's, you know, two, what was that? No, it's 1-6 one, one uh, over what he's asking, right? 1-7. He, he took it. So 1-7 was enough to keep him. So I, I did this on the other one, but I offered more years exactly same money. They didn't take it. All right, we'll see if, if Warford takes more years, same money. Not interested, right? So there wasn't enough money there for him to re-sign. So here he's asking for one year. I'm offering him three. I'm going to give him a bump. took it All right again so you're gonna have to think through this it's gonna it's gonna take um it's gonna take some management you're gonna have to think about who you're gonna let walk who you're gonna resign and how you're gonna build your team because uh, it's not gonna be easy you're gonna have to really think so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna get uh two free agency we'll test some free agency here we'll just see what guys are asking so i got 57 So yeah, this 90 overall cornerback, he's asking three for 46, asking two for 32. It's, it's not super crazy numbers. Here's Fournette, right? He's asking three for 14. It's not bad at all. I can't be right. Oh no, that is right. So Fournette's not asking for crazy money. This Campbell, he's an X-Factor. He's not asking for crazy money. So I think a uh, little bit of an overreaction from from a couple of us. But let's see. Let's go. We're going to put in a couple of bids just to see what happens here. We're going to go four years. I'm giving 10, 7. Where's that put me? Puts me at 98. Alright, so it puts me in second place. We'll see where that goes. And then for Cam, we're going to go 2 for 15. So I'm going to give him a fat contract. We'll go 15 and a half and 7. And you can see it's eating up my cap pretty big to put this off. But we're just testing. It's going to, guys are not going to be able to go into free agency this mad and, and be just dumb. All right, so that puts me at 115 points. Puts me in first place. All right, so we'll uh, back out, advance, see what happens. 
All combine stats, such as the 40 yard dash, are now. Uh, available Jordan took in scouting. it. This one was declined, so evidently he signed with somebody else. Let's do this. Let's see if he takes. I don't want to mess up. I'm going to really mess up my cap. But I think that you can offer less years, even on these guys, and they'll take. So, you know. Uh, Cohen's asking for five years. I think you can offer him four, but you're going to have to bring the money. Like, you're going to have to make it up in the money. All right. Let's get us to, uh, let's get us to the next season. We'll do one more season like this, and uh, we'll see where it kind of falls. Then we'll try one other team just to prove the point. I'm going to take the Cowboys. I know they have a lot of big re-signings coming up. Start your uh, week and, by installing and that's two your pretty plan. teams that have some big re-signings. And that should give us a good baseline. Um, I'll be honest. The ideas we're playing with is to give everybody a five-year contract, one, that you get to use. Um, after doing this test, I, I just I don't know that that's going to happen. I think we're not going to allow in-season signings. I do think that I'll be able to get that to pass. You'll only get the free agency at the right before free agency. Resign right before free agency. If you're on vacation, if you're not around, we'll give you week 16 or 17 to do that. Um, and then maybe, possibly, right, this is the part I don't know. Either we keep the rules the same or we give a, a fifth-year contract as an, an earning that you can have um, – it's an earning that you can have whenever you earn gold. But I, I, I'm talking myself out of it because I, I think it should matter. Like, you, you should have to think through your cap. You don't have to be a cap specialist, but you should have to think through your cap, think through your free agent spending, think through, okay, this is the team I have and the, free, and, and the team I took over in the cap situation I'm in. I'm going to have to cut these three players. I'm going to have to move these big stars because I know in two seasons I'm going to have to sign six of my top 15 players, and they're all going to want big contracts, right? Like, you should have to plan your team out like that. So we'll see where this goes, and uh, we'll come back. Start your week by installing your game plan. Scouting points are earned every week. Use all of your points because a portion of the remain points will be lost when you advance the week.
All combine stats, such as the 40-yard dash, are now available in scouting. Start your week by installing your game plan. Start your week by installing your game plan. All right, so we're in year three. You've seen me go through the free agency period. I even went and got myself in a cap trouble on purpose and, and signed Van Der Ech to a, a massive deal here. Um, and you can see, right? These are not... I'm not seeing anything that's crazy at all. Um, and you've seen, like, if you offer them what they want, it's a 50-50 shot. You just never know who's going to resign and who's going to not resign. Um, and you start getting in this... You know, it looks like 20, anything below 25, you're in serious trouble. Anything below 40, 50, like, you need to be cautioned. And then, you know, over 50, you have a lot of flexibility. And so, I don't see it. I'm not saying that there isn't a problem. We'll go try another team real quick. Um, but I am not seeing, uh, oops, that's not what I want to do. I'm not seeing the, the any issues at all. But we'll start up one more one more um one more franchise. Let's uh let me bring up all my franchises. I should just have one, yeah, okay. Uh we're gonna create a new one real time. Boom. Select the team you want to join. Dallas Cowboys on this one because I know that they have some re-sign issues that are out there. Start your season with recommended use settings. If you coach, wish to change roles to or sure. adjust options, use the tiles on the left. Week settings. Oh, this is going to be correct. Oh no, let me uh, we'll change the time just to make sure everything is right. All right, so here we go. We'll try the Dallas Cowboys, and then I've kind of seen all that I need to see. Well, she didn't have to do all this. Yeah, 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 lady, I get it. Start your week by installing your game plan. All right, let's get us to the midseason just to see who is up. Start your week by installing your game plan. All right, so for the Dallas Cowboys, year one. These players are on the last yeah, yeah, year yeah, of their yeah, contract. Yeah. Uh, Byron Jones is up. He's asking three for 48. Cooper, four for 60. Smith, five for 45. Lee, two for 37. Witten, Prescott's asking five for 132. So that's a big one. We'll see if we can't get him to take less years on that one. Randall Cobb's asking three for 20. What's wrong with him? Anthony Brown, four for 31. I mean, there's a couple big contracts in here, but they're the Dallas Cowboys. Collins, right? This is a top player. Um, this, is, this is what you inherit. If you're going to take this team, this is what you have to deal with. And you, you have to make some, some hard decisions. Tavon Austin... Two for seven. Is he crazy? All right. So let's see where we get. Let's get us to the Super Bowl. <sighs> I mean, in those other sims, I think the Cowboys won two of the three Super Bowls, at least in two of the three Super Bowls. So... If you're going to have that kind of roster, if you're going to have that kind of team, it Scouting should be very difficult to keep week. them together. Use all of your points because a portion of the remain points should not will be, be lost easy. when you advance the week. I don't think that we're going to make it easy. All right, get us here. 
27 are up. Let's do Dak first. So we'll do Dak. Did I pass him up? I think I did. Right here. All right, so Dak's the biggest Cap contract here. The closer your con this is the player yeah, card. Yeah, yeah, here yeah, you can yeah. see your players. So we're going to go four. It's 108. So now we got to really pump this up. So we're going to give him 16 a year. This is stupid money for a quarterback. But if you want to keep him, that's what you got to do, right? Man. Let's do 16 and 16. Should get us at round 132, right? Unless my math is wrong, which is a good chance. No. It's going to get us to 128 over 4. Oh, yeah. Cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So he's asking 5 for 136. So this is less than what he's asking. This is less years. Let's see what happens. I actually kind of... Alright. You know what? Let's offer him more. Because that's kind of the point here. So we're going to go 16 and a half. Alright. We're going to go 20 mil. It's 146 over 4. He took it. So we've proven they will take less years if you pony up the money. Let's go to Amari. That's probably the closest one. All right, so we're gonna um, we're gonna offer him less years. So we're gonna offer him three. All right, we're gonna get it fairly close, but still under. where the half gets us all right so that's close it's not what he's asking it's less years he took it all right so you can get them to take less years less money it's just going to be a crapshoot if you're willing to this take is that the development shot, right this is the abilities tab this player has a right, zone ability this is this. A i don't have my twitch up go dolphins who is that Trashy man. What's up, Trash? All right, let's go. Let's offer him what he's asking. Let's just see how that works out. He took it. All right, we're just going to go down the line and offer what people are asking. And it's probably going to be a 50-50 crapshoot. And you can see the Dallas Cowboys' money is quickly running away. Because they signed Dak to that massive offer. So, Lee decided to walk the first two signs, though. I'm letting Robert Quinn walk. He's 30 years old. Collins signs LSU. Yep, yeah, he took it. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Um, I think that uh, it's not that complicated, and uh, I don't know that we're gonna have to change a lot. I think we will still discuss a, possibly adding one fifth year to the gold incentive, but uh, if we do that. Yeah, we'll have to set like a, a maximum contract, right? Like, are you allowed to offer five years to only in-house players who are a asking for over 125, right? Like something like that. But I really don't know that I'm going to, I don't know. This testing has actually brought me back to where I don't think that we're going to allow a fifth year. I just don't, I don't see the need in it. It's going to really, really force guys to think through their trades to think through their rosters, to think how they build. Um, you know, you're just not going to be able to go and throw fat, fat contracts at everybody and get every player you want. You're going to have to learn how to draft. You're going to have to learn how to keep your picks. Right? You guys who just gave Mo all your first round picks, like, well, that's going to be tough. You're going to need those first rounds. You're going to need those guys to come in and play ball on a rookie contract.
to save money. That is just the way it's going to have to be. So, I'll, I'll, go, I'll do three years. I'm not going to talk much more because you guys have heard me talk. And uh, I'll come back on right at the end. And then I'll blast this out to everybody as an example. Um, but unless, unless somebody gives me something major, uh, I think that we will still not allow five-year contracts. We've proven that they'll take four years. It's going to be stupid money, but if that's what you want, he's going to get stupid money in free agency because you can probably let him walk, right? Like you can let Dak walk, go get him in free agency if nobody else wants him, get him in a lower deal, right? Um, or you may actually have to pay more. That's kind of a decision that you have to make. It's going to really be quarterbacks that I think um, they're going to ask the, the crazy money. And that's guess what? That's real life. Quarterbacks ask stupid, crazy money in real life. All right. Let's see how this plays out over three seasons. See you at the end. You have a player healed from injury and ready to play. Start your week by installing your game plan. Start your week by installing your game plan. This is the last opportunity to re-sign your players or they'll become free agents. Start your week by installing your game plan. All right, so this is start your week by installing your game plan. Year three, the Dallas Cowboys. Let's see who's up for resign, but 
think it's going to be what we've seen, right? Quarterbacks are going to ask for big money. Everybody else is going to ask for their portion of the contract. All right, so we see this guy. I know in my sim that I had with the Saints, I had to offer this guy like 120 over five years in, or 102, or sorry, over five years, or over four years in my test free agency. So, and you can see, signing him is going to, going to put you over. So you're going to have to make some tough calls. Signing him, gonna put you over. Collins, back up. Signing him's gonna put you over, right? So because you gave these big contracts, these are the things that you have to think through. And every contract taken, it's gonna be another contract that you can't. That you gotta manage your money. Again, you got to keep those first round picks. You have to really, really, really manage your cap. I'm just randomly going through this. I don't, I don't, even, I don't know any of this. Oh, crap. I'm in season. Son of a... I didn't realize that. That was my bad. That's what we don't want to allow. Again, because we don't want to allow you to little ball guys and just slowly work it up. Like, you get one bid, make it count. This is the last opportunity to re-sign your players or they'll become free agents. Golly, that's kicker that lost his mind. All right, you're, looks like you're operating in the red. Looks like this team is already in bad cap shape. And again, it's because of the decisions that we made in season one. We start re-signing all those guys in season two when we gave some fat contracts out. This team is now over the cap, and they got to figure out a way to get under the cap. And I have some ideas I'm thinking out loud here. Don't take any of this to the bank. Um, maybe we can get creative and figure out some way to allow a restructure. And you can earn one restructure of a contract, you know, that will allow you to take it down by 20%. Again, I'm just completely thinking out loud. I don't know if any of these numbers work. I don't know what restrictions need to be around that. I'm, I'm really just thinking completely out loud. But I, I proved with the Saints, you can get big contracts but think through that roster. And with the Cowboys, I've proven that you can get big contracts and then get yourself in trouble. So this team is 2-9 under the cap. Right, which was not anything that any of those guys were asking for. So you can come here to total contracts. You see Prescott, right? He's got that massive bonus. You got Lawrence, Smith, Martin. And these are some big, big time contracts. There's a lot of money tied up in these top tier players. And so, again, I'm just thinking completely out loud. Let's say Dak is now underperforming. I think that's what we would allow. So I'm thinking out loud here, right? Like, what what is realistic? If the stats from the year previous are underperforming, the stats are lower, even if it's by one stat, whatever. If the stats overall are lower, let's say Prescott had a bad year. You need to lower his cap number. You earn gold, so we give you one contract restructure that you can lower his contract by 20 percent so for deck his number is one 
I think it was 146, right? So we're talking, you know, 14.6, 28, 29.2. Uh, that was a rough math. Rough math is not my strong suit. So you get to cut 29.2, and you get to decide where you want to cut it. And let's say you want to take it away from here. So we're going to take 66 down uh, 46, 40. 37 all right so we're gonna take this all the way down to 37 all right save that see what that does with this number all right so you lowered it all right so one yeah 20%, right? So you gave yourself $8 million is what we did. We we, gave you, we got you $8 million, right? So it gives you some flexibility. Probably only going to allow you to do that once per player, kind of like a, the bonus that we used to do. Once per player, you have to earn it in gold. You only get one per season. It has to be an underperforming player. You get to cut 20%. You decide where the 20% comes from. I, I, again, I don't know that the board's going to pass any of this. I'm just thinking out loud with you guys. I'm trying to come up with options to make this realistic. And if I'm going to take things like in-season negotiations from you, I will give you back that. So there's a little give and take here, but I think we move to more realistic things here. And... You know, you're able to take that 10 mil and come back in, right? Now that I have 10 million, I don't know his numbers. I don't even know how close this is going to get. Yet you're closer, right? Oh, no, it's not even close. <laughs> Never mind. But maybe it allows you to keep your punter, right? It allows you to go and re-sign this guy. Allows you to re-sign Collins, possibly. You said no, it doesn't. All right. But you're also talking about keeping an entire Cowboys team together that's probably not realistic. Just like my Saints, right? If Drew Brees was 26, like Dak, I wouldn't be able to keep that team together. You're not keeping Brees and Kamara and Lattimore and Ramchek. You're, just, you're not keeping all of those players. You're going to have to let somebody walk, and then you have to go fight for them in free agency if that's what you want to do. So... That's where I'm at. I'm going to present this to the board. I'm also going to send this out to all of the owners so that you can kind of watch my thought process and hear over the next couple of days. Um, I think that we'll be able to make a decision. Uh, but I think what I'm personally going to present to the board is no five-year contracts. Instead, we will allow one restructure to be earned through gold. Actually, we're probably going to keep it simple. We're probably going to... Um, I don't want to dumb it down too much, but I'm thinking maybe it's it's two for gold and one for silver. But they have to be underperforming players, and you only lower it by 20%. Um, and you decide if the 20% is 10 salary, 10 bonus, all bonus, all salary, right? You get to decide exactly where that that 20% comes from. So that's where we are. Uh, I'm tossing around ideas. I'm open to ideas after you watch this, if you have ideas. Um, but it shouldn't be easy. It's not easy to be an NFL GM, and uh, it, it shouldn't be easy. And I think that this is going to, along with the things that we're doing with the trade calculator, this is going to force you guys to not trade around or wait for us around picks. If I'm losing starters in all these positions, and i got contracts that are coming up, I'm going to have to draft a player that can step into that role and be under a rookie contract. Uh, if you're dealing first-round picks constantly, that's not going to happen, right? And this is why NFL teams rarely trade away first-round picks, um, why it's so hard to, to get them and why they're worth so much because the money that's tied to them ultimately. So that's what we got. Looking for your ideas. We'll pitch this over to the board and shoot this out to anybody that didn't get to watch. Um, my next stream hopefully will be a game, so if anybody's around and wants to play, uh, hit me up and we'll talk. All right, peace.